I do not try to play a role. I feel good being myself and saying what I think. I would never want Ukraine to be a piece on the map, on the chessboard of big global players, so that someone could toss us around, use us as cover, as part of some bargain. If there is no Ukrainian strong army, there will be no Ukraine, and that will be the case when everyone will understand. It's not the war in Ukraine, it's the war in Europe. We are defending our country, our land. We are not attacking anyone, because that is immoral. The president can't change the country on his own. But what can he do? He can give an example. People don't really believe in words. Or rather, people believe in words only for a stretch of time. Then they start to look for action. If I meet Putin, I'll say to him, So you've finally given us back our territory. How much more are you ready to give as compensation money for taking away our land and helping those who took part in the escalation in Crimea and Donbass? In my previous profession, when I was a producer, scriptwriter and actor, I wanted to get an Oscar. I wanted to be popular in the USA. I respect Israel as hugely special, especially given all the sensitivities around it. The Jews managed to build a country, to elevate it, without anything except people and brains. All the money I have, I made with my talent. Chernobyl is a unique place on the planet, where nature revives after a worldwide man-made disaster, where there is a real, ghost town. I'm the type of person who responds to facts. There was no pressure or blackmail from the U.S. I had no idea the military aid was held up. Please. Please stop saying that Ukraine is a corrupt country, because from now, it's not true. We want to change this image. I want to do something to change the mistrust towards politicians. We as a country have something to learn from Israel, especially in the areas of security and defense, and we will of course be doing that. We are very proud of the fact that we have such a low level of anti-Semitism, such a low level of anti-Semitism in independent Ukraine, which started its life in 1991. Why is Poroshenko going for a second term? So that he doesn't get a first. I don't want to interfere in U.S. elections. It's a victory when the weapons fall silent and people speak up. I am not a politician. 
I am just a simple person who has come to break down this system. To all the countries of the former Soviet Union. Look at us. Everything is possible. Honoring the memory of the victims of the Holocaust, in which more than two million Ukrainian Jews died, Ukraine calls on Israel to also recognize the Holodomor as an act of genocide against the Ukrainian people. My election only proves that the citizens are tired of the experienced politicians who over the past 28 years created a country of opportunities. Opportunities to steal, bribe and loot. Let's build a country of opportunities where everybody is equal before the law and where the rules of the game are honest and transparent, and the same for everyone. We must become Icelanders in soccer, Israelis in defending our land, Japanese in technology. Faith is something we never discuss at the dinner table in my family, but I do believe in God. I'm sure that in the future, every part of the world will recognize that Holodomor is a huge tragedy for Ukraine, and was actually the destruction of Ukrainian people. Politics is not an exact science. That's why in school I loved mathematics. Everything in mathematics was clear to me. Chernobyl has been a negative part of Ukraine's brand. The time has come to change this. Let's find those people whose names do not cause controversy in our present and in our future. Let's name the monuments and streets for those people whose names do not provoke conflict. Honestly, Russia should want it, to give our territory, our land back to us. Ukraine and Israel have long-standing historical ties. Our nations have together experienced all the tragedies in recent history. The Holodomor and the Holocaust, the Second World War, and the totalitarian Soviet regime. I will not agree to go to war in the Donbass. I know there are a lot of hotheads, especially those who hold rallies and say, let's go fight and win it all back. But at what price? What is the cost? It's another story of lives and land. And I won't do it. I am a person who works to deadlines. The Ukrainian nation, as no other nation, understands and is fully aware of the tragedy in its scale of all the lost lives of the Ukrainian Jews during the Second World War. I think everybody in Ukraine is so tired about Burisma. We have our own country. We have our independence. We have our problems and questions. When Ukrainians and Israelis speak to each other, 
each side respects the other. We should show Chernobyl to the world. Scientists, environmental specialists, historians and tourists.